you, and welcome to Question Muck this week, coming live from the bungalow front room. Uh, now, of course, this is your chance where you, the voters, get to question the great and the good, the great and the good, rather, of public and political life. So, uh, on the panel tonight, we have the Right Honourable George Fanafwe, Minister for Education. Ah, uh, yeah, for yes. Uh, next to him is Linus Mudrocket, musician, TV critic and steam railway enthusiast. Hello. Uh, Do you like trains? If they're steamy. Jolly good. <laughs> uh, on my left, I have a former Young Magician of the Year and former member of the Magic Circle, Mr Dominic Wood. Uh, next to him, we have the foreign correspondent for the Daily Muck, Melvin O'Doom. Hello. And I can do this. Very good. And completing the panel tonight on the end is the Right Honourable Piece of Fluff MP. Good evening. Well, we've got a lot to get through uh, this morning, so let's get straight on with the first question, which comes from uh, Jess Bungalow Head. How does the panel feel about the use of muck muck in schools? Well, it's current political hot potato, George mm. Fanafwe. Yeah. Is that me? Ah, oh, <laughs> Fanafwe, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the government believes in the, the four M's, um, the, the muck, the muck, the muck, and, uh, and more muck. So, yeah, Fanafwe. Uh, Melvin O'Doom, uh, what exactly is your take on this? Chuck, 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 chuck a car. Chuck a car. Chuck a car. Chuck a car. I think you've made your point there, uh, Melvin. I, I think we just need to get somebody else in on this. Um, Dominic Stupid Wood. Man. Well, uh, please, I, one, I, one at I, a time, please. I, I, there's no point in us doing this unless we can all what are hear you doing each other. Oh. Right, uh, uh, Dominic Wood. Thank you. Well, I think there's two underlying metaphors here that we really need to think about. I mean, firstly, watch. Them. Cake. That's what we need more of! Cake. Well, what, what I'd like to do is move on to the next question, uh, which comes from Gail Pink. With the current threat to the environment, does the panel agree that it's time to think about muck muck environment? Muck muck alternatives like d dirty Norris and mushy peas. Uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. are there alternatives to creamy yeah, yeah. muck muck, Linus Mud Rocket? Uh, well, I think that this prompts uh, three questions. One is, what are we doing here? Well, another is, what time's your tea? And thirdly, what time am I going to call round for you? And the answers are yes, yes, 5.30 and 6. Well, I, and there's a lesson in that. You see, I, I find that quite interesting because, well, yeah, Melvin I mean, O'Doom, you uh, tend to have a totally different take on this, don't you? <laughs> Perhaps if I could just get a quick comment from Piece of Fluff on this. Well, frankly. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Well, thank you, uh, Peter. Well, well, yeah, well, uh, true, well I'd like else. to move on to our third yeah. question uh, this morning, which comes from Sam Bungalow Head, a retired head teacher from Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Does the panel agree that Muck Muck should be s subsidised for people who can do this? Well, this, of course, related oh, to the well, story in the papers oh. this week. Um, Dominic Wood. Well, uh, he has got a good point, and it's a very but, thorough one. But do you think it should be subsidised is the question. Well, Please answer the question. Well, uh, I'm going to come to Peter Fluff again. What, did, what do you make of that answer? No, no I... I think the programme is, is, in my view, an absolute disgrace. I've never watched it, obviously, and I never will, but I think it's disgraceful. Steve Wright! Steve Wright! Yeah, that, that, we're being set up here or something. It's a joke, this. Well, in what, I mean, your, your party's always going on about... Uh, we believe in the four ends! ...being set up. Well, look, uh, we're running out of time, so I'd like to go to our final question now. Uh, from a uh, Mr. P. Idiot, who's an idiot. Oh yeah, uh, and no dodging the, the question, please. But uh, very important. 
Would anyone like a cheese sandwich? OK, very, very oh, quickly oh, on yeah. this. Wow. Hold it go. down. Very quickly on this. Round the table, starting with George for NAF week. Would you like a cheese sandwich, yes or no? No! Uh, everyone wants a cheese sandwich every now and then. Dominic Wood? <laughs> Wood. Well, I, I did ask for a quick yes or no. Chicken. A chicken. Very good. Very good. Um, chicken sandwich. Chicken. Very good. Uh, and <laughs> piece of fluff. <laughs> Truly awful. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's about <laughs> all we have Jack. time for. Uh, next we're week we're in again. Worcestershire. So if you'd like to join us in the audience for that, then please check our website at bbc.co.uk. No, no, not the website. website. That's not even uh, worse. <laughs> oh, just uh, shut up. Go, 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 go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, truly well, if you'll let me answer, it's appalling. Well, frankly, I think it's an absolute disgrace. Awful. Stop it! Stop it! Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Phone. Yeah, the phone. You got the phone. Yeah. The uh, the person of the person of the question. It's the beginning yes. of the yes. end right. of the show. Jess gets 100 bungalow points. She was the best person in question time. Well done, Jess. Well, there we Where's go. Where's that phone? It's okay. ringing. Oh, it's there. Right here. Are you still there? Yeah. Who, who is it? It's the old matey. It's it's the old matey. Channel. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't got oh. TV Channel, we'll see you next week. The winner of Dick and Nom in the Bungalow this morning is Sam with 511. Yeah. Sam, you get the bonus prize. That's it. That? Yeah. Wow, wow, my drink. Right, that's it. Hopefully, she should be ready in about five seconds. Oh, by the way, keep on playing buttons, balls, and bungalow. Press, Press the, the red button, 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 and button, and it's free. There's a big about it. Top of the pop Saturday next, and, uh, and, and girls allowed. Right, Jess is in the loose. She's going to get a dog of Gungeon in five, five, four, three, two, one. Give her it. <laughs> Go on, Jess. Ta-ra! Dance everyone, you bunch of freaks! See you tomorrow on the CBC channel. Oh, wow. Chuck, 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 on. Truly awful. Gaz Top? Never heard of him. That's how. <laughs>